All right, we got seven minutes and a little bit over a half until the uh, Henrietta and Kellyville girls start playing. You're looking at the uh, Henrietta girls warming up right now. We're yeah, at home for a change. First game at home. There you go. New home and a new coach. So uh, well, let's see what the coach proceeds tonight to uh, make happen with the girls. Well, you know, the second half of the uh, game last week with Morris, or earlier this week with Morris, was it was really a good well, game. And they, cha they changed some uh, different people in there, and, and you know, people started uh, making the plays and that sort of thing. And hopefully this week we can start off and and do as well as we did on the second half. You bet. Uh, Coach Bencoma is, uh, of course, this is his first year, and uh, he's getting the girls into. Um, Kind of into the sink with him and him with them. Yeah, you know my uh, my granddaughter from over there at Kiefer uh, was in his class. She says he is a good teacher. So now he's a good coach. Well, he's a good teacher too. So good. hopefully he can bring us along. Good. We'll uh, see how well that works. Of course, then tonight for the nightcap, the boys um, be coming out here. They're coming off the win with Morris. That um, that was a good ball game. Uh, oh, that Morris. was excellent. Up twenty, then down uh, up five, and then. Coming back, and oh, what a game. <laughs> I don't know how much closer you could have got that, oh. that last quarter. Andy and I were on the edge of our seats. You bet. I think our seats were burning. <laughs> yep. So. But anyway, uh, you just settle down. Um, you're watching the henryadden.com. Thank you very much. We always appreciate that. And we'll be back just here in a Five minutes, 48 seconds for yep. Henrietta Lady Knights basketball. Life doesn't wait, so your banking shouldn't either. With our new web-enabled mobile banking app, you can pay bills, transfer funds, and even make deposits right from your smartphone or tablet. Just visit our website for more information and download our mobile banking app today and you'll be banking at the speed of life. First Family Federal Credit Union, making a difference since 1956. Federally insured by NCUA. Online at firstfamilyfcu.com. I know this guy, I've talked to him on the phone, he knows his stuff. Estate agent said it would be great for attracting buyers. I am here to help you sell your house. Negotiating price with online buyer. Don't, no, no, don't no, no, negotiate. Sold to lowest bidder. I'm glad we saved money with that discount agent. I don't know why nobody else wanted this place. American Exchange Bank has a proud history of serving Henrietta and the area. Since 1933, the bank has been a stable part of the community. As the years go on, we have changed to make your banking easier. Using today's technology, you can be assured that your online banking is safe and secure. Located at 510 West Main in Henrietta or our new Okima branch at 117 South Woody Guthrie, American Exchange, your bank for the future. Henrietta Eye Center is more than just a place to get glasses. You get great personalized care to ensure your vision health is protected. Are you tired of wearing glasses or contacts? Have you ever given Lasix a thought? If you are between 18 and 50, you may be a candidate. Make an appointment and come see us today. If Lasix is not for you, we have many options in contact lenses. 
We have daily, monthly, and even extended wear contacts. Henrietta Eye Center. Are you looking for a nursing facility or assisted living services for your loved one in Henrietta? Fountain View Manor is the perfect place. Let them live a better life under the care of our experienced, professional, and trained staff. We offer skilled care and memory support for your family member who deserves the very best. We are a locally owned and operated facility that has been serving Henrietta Sr. since 1967. Henrietta Dental Center has created a unique dental experience. This is one that brings together everything you need in dentistry. It's delivered in a personalized, caring, and compassionate way. Come to Henrietta Dental Center today. Give us a call for an appointment, 918-652-2555. Let us bring back your smile. In any small community, the hospital plays an important part, both for employment and for the well-being of the citizens. So between the school system and the hospital, those are two institutions that are important to our community. So it really is uh, an investment in Henrietta. I think our community is really pleased about where we're going in health care in this town. Don't wait until the final seconds before you start planning your financial future. Stop by Edward Jones' office in Henrietta and visit with Jeremy Roberts or Erica Camp, your professional financial advisors. They can help with retirement, investments, and estate planning. If you are a young family, now is the time to look toward that college education. We can help. Edward Jones at 504 West Main. And Some of them can dribble pretty good. Maybe we ought to. There you go. Hey, yeah. uh, we're back now with... Uh, about 30 seconds before the start of the game with Henrietta and Kellyville. Well, folks, we got we'll the band be. next to us here. So uh, you bet. they're all ready to go. For two years, they've not been able to do anything, so this is their night. And a light crowd here tonight, but um, Looks like we'll it's still stand, early enough. We'll have to stand for the national anthem here. We'll be doing the opening ceremonies. And yeah. there you had the... You know, Bruce, we need to get um, our athletic director to sing the national anthem. Hey, you know, he is a pretty good singer. He's a pretty good singer. See, we can't talk him into it, folks. When you see him, ask him when he's going to sing the national anthem. There you go. Let's put some pressure on him. We'll be eating the uh, Lady Kellyville. Yep. Well, you're 
you're going to do, you're doing the lights? Yes, sir. Uh, for the girls? Yes. Better plug it in. He ain't going to be able to see. What drop, Gavin? All right, we're going to be in the dark as the um, Lady Knights get spotlighted. You bet. Start this thing up. A little bit of a enclave for the young ladies. You betcha. It's nice. Nice to have a nice beautiful gym. Got lights, bought lights. We're really moving up in the world. That's okay. Yep. See you for the boys. All right, here we go, folks. Feels good being here at home, Andy. It sure does. And if you're watching from Kellyville, welcome to the party. My name is Bruce Jones, and I've got Andy Bielko with me here. We got Greenhaw jumping. Uh, Greenhawk tips the ball, and the Lady Ponies from Kellyville bringing it on down the court. Kaiser passing the ball over back to the other side of the court, trying to drive to the basket into the middle. You bet. And got a foul already on three, which would be Lee. That'll be Lee's first. Lady Ponies throw it in. Moving the ball around over the far side of the court. Number one with the ball for uh, Kellyville. Yeah, Passes it off to number two. I haven't got the roster in front of me, so I apologize, everyone. Well, number two, number two is Bynum. There's a switch, and up, and no good. Rebound fought for, and Lee gets the Lee's Lee's got a foul against the uh, Lady Lady Ponies. So let's see who that foul was on. Don't have it on the board. Wiggins is bringing the ball down the court. Yep. Over the Lee underneath. Ball's up, no good. Rebound fought for him. But Pony's got it, bringing it on down. That's Tony McGuire bringing the ball down. Passes it off to. Um, uh, number 13. Harwood. 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 Got it, they got it back corner. Number two driving under the hoop, which is Jocelyn Bry and Byram. Byram. Now back outside to Byram. And that's got a foul on Green Greenhaw. So that'd be Greenhaw's first foul. May Butler made the two on that. Yep. Ball out of bounds to the ponies. But it was not not in a position of shooting, so nope. McGuire passing the ball back to McGuire. Over to the corner, into the middle. And trying to drive to the hoop. Byron. And Byron. Gets it in there. No, no cut, no basket. She no stepped. Basket. She, she stepped. stepped. She stepped. All right, DeWiggins throws the ball down, gets across the line, over. Oh, almost. DeWiggins got the ball, setting it up. Working her. Almost stolen away. Argyoshi bringing Ar the ball around. Argyoshi's throwing the ball out of bounds. Staying down there. Ball still remaining with the Henrietta Lady Knights. 5.56 left to go in this first period. Yep. 
There's a shot up and Henrietta puts it in. So Lady Knights draw first blood here in this game. And that's good by Greenhall, right? Yep. Ball fought good, for, uh, and another good, rebound. Good try by Byram. By Gobin. Gobin got the rebound. The Wiggins bringing the ball down, passes it off to Lee underneath. Tarchoki knocked out of bounds. And Henrietta, ball out of bounds. 5.22 to go in the first period. Gobin's throwing the ball in. Throws it over. Back to DeWiggins, trying to get it underneath to Lee. Lee's going to try to drive, shoots no good. And here comes Lady Ponies with the rebound. Throwing it underneath, wide up, throw, shoots, no good. Rebound fought for, back to Lady Ponies. Long three-point shot, no good. Rebound fought for again. I'll tell you what, Lady Ponies doing a good job. Yes, under they the are. Basket. Now, There's they the basket right they there. Got there too. They earned that, too. McGuire got that, too. Almost stolen away. Ball knocked out of bounds. So be going to Henrietta. Be Henrietta. They're putting the press on. Up front here, so gonna need all the help. Here comes Lawless in the ball game. But you remember last year? Lee going uh, out at the game with uh, Kellyville. Yep. The Lady Ponies had, and they were pressing all the way. They you had bet. the attack. They were in attack mode yes, from they the were. start. And the ball knocked out of bounds by McGuire. 2-2 ball game, first period. Greenhaw's got the ball, throws it in. Gobin, fires, throws the ball up, no good, rebound. Oh, very weak. Yep. That was an air ball all the way. Yep. Number two, Byron shoots. Big fighter. Hey, hey you see who got the smallest person on the court? The Wiggins. She's a hustler out there. She may be small, but the, yeah, I guarantee She is that. mighty. Lawless got the ball. Oh, bad pass by Lawless. Good steal by um, Defender Kaiser. Not. Oh, that was no good. Rebound fought ball. again. Up, oh, and it's good. And the ball was put in by number 20. 23. Pickering. Pickering got it up two. So four to two. Time, Time out. was called over on the Henrietta side. You bet. Um, you know, we're looking back at um, game last week with, um, or earlier this week with Morris. You know, scoring was pretty well even throughout. Um, Billy had had six points. So did Greenhaw. And so did uh, Lee. Yep. They all had six points each. The only difference is um, Ajochi made one of the only two three-pointers, and Billy made the other one in that game. Knights, at one point, though, they only had one free throw try in that um, first quarter. Exactly right. And they wound up with a goose egg. At least we're on the board now, and we're back. There's long a long shot. Oh, shot. a beautiful yeah, shot by beautiful. 13. Who was Harwood. Harwood's got a three. Here comes. That was a good three-pointer. Yep. Left hand. Oh, throw it away. Lost. Bad pass there. Goes to the uh, ponies. Lawless loses the, loses the handle of that basketball. Here comes Lady Ponies. No press by the Knights. Lady Knights. They got some new, oh, throw it out of bounds, had rid of ball. McGuire kind of screwed up on that throw for the Lady Ponies. Greenhaw throws the ball in, into, into. Boy, they're oh. fighting with the Wiggins. They sure are, they're trying to get the ball. And it is stolen off of her. Ball yep. is up, and McGuire makes up for what she did. Throwing the ball away, she gets, gets the two, the two. points. So Lady Pony's up nine to two. Yep. Yeah, a nine and a foul on number like one. That was Kaiser. Foul on Kaiser. That'll be her first foul. 
Well, Lady Knight's throwing it in. Well, we're, they're just and defending there's us. A good steal. I'm looking at uh, Kaiser and looking at the Wiggins. They're almost perfectly matched size you bet. by size. You bet. Both hustlers. And they are. Yes, they are. Ball out of bounds for the Lady Knights or Lady uh, Ponies. Kaiser's throwing the ball in. Throws it off. Ball's up. No good. Rebound fought for again. There's a long shot by 13. No good. Kaiser's got the ball back to the corner. Over to McGuire. Harwood with the ball. Harwood's right going to shoot it. She and she and makes it. The That's five points for Harwood. There's another ball almost stol uh, stolen away. Oh, yes. Good layup. Beautiful layup by Greenhaw. She's the only one that's got the points for the Lady Knights. Four points for her. Ball goes out of bounds. Our jokey was in there, knocked it out of bounds. It's gonna and it's got to go to the Lady Knights. We'll oh. take that. Yes, sir. Our jokey hit her against her foot. Uh, up. Oh, my goodness gracious. Man, our jokey mm -hmm. lost that ball right after throwing it into her. And, and Lady Pony's got the ball back. A little battle that went on there. Yeah. There's another shot up. No good. Rebound fought for. Henrietta comes Lee, up with Lee's it. got the ball. And then here comes the yeah. Wiggins. The Wiggins trying to set it up. Knocked out of bounds. Again, again, a stole again, twice by. And Harwood right there in the middle man, of it. Man, old Harwood was stayed right with it, I'll tell you. That's seven points for Harwood. And she's going to do another free throw here. She stole the ball, got it taken back off of her, stole the ball, took it all one hoop and got fouled and put it in. Now she gets a one shot. Harwood shoots, and it's good. Long pass there, dude. Uh, a ball stolen right off of Lee. Right out of her hands. Right out of her hands. Lee almost had it, though, coming back. Tall young lady. Here's a long shot, three-point shot, no good. Rebound box. Gobin's got the ball, passes it off. Back to DeWiggins. Over to Lee. Lee back to Gobin. Gobin's driving the basket. No good. Rebound fought forward. Here comes the Lady Knights. She's going to the basket, folks. Throws it up and no good. Fought for. That looked like that was going to go right yeah, in Yeah, it did. There. Here's There's another long shot. shot. No nothing. good. Garjoki, get the ball. Hit the line, so Henrietta will have to turn it over to the ponies. <laughs> as soon as we get the rebounds, though, Bruce are taking them right back off of us. Oh, I know it. They are a scrappy little bunch. And it's thrown in. We're watching a good, strong offensive team there with you the bet. ponies. Yep. Bynum's got the ball. I'm impressed. Back to McGuire, through the middle, the bottom, and a foul. She gets fouled on the way up. So she'll go to the line again. Byram's one of the four juniors the uh, yep. Lady Ponies have this year. Shoots it, and it's good. That's She'll get her second shot. Falls up. And it's good again. 47 seconds to go in this first period. Our junkie with the ball. Back to, oh, throw, we throw the ball away. A little hard. Throwing it to the Dwayne. Caitlin couldn't uh, hang on to it. 
Kate been at these set of stilts to get that. Here's Lady Knights nice, taking it to the basket. The shoots. Out. No good. Rebound fought for. And 36 seconds. Henrietta throws the ball down. Going to lose it. And Lady Ponies, 32 seconds to go. Has the opportunity to put another basket in the hoop. McGuire's got the ball. Taking her time, bringing it down, setting it up. We're under the half minute mark now. Over to Kaiser. Kaiser back to McGuire. McGuire's dribbling around. Gets it in the middle. Back outside. Into the middle. Drive the hoop. They're yeah, they're setting it up. it up. They're setting it up. Clock's on their side, four seconds. Yeah. McGuire's got the ball stolen. And we're going to, we just dribbled it out. Just dribbled the ball out. So we're going to go to the uh, second quarter here. Henrietta down by uh, 14 points. 12 points. 12 points. My math doesn't work once in a while. Well, that's okay. That's okay, Bruce. Do you have questions about your banking needs? The staff at American Exchange Bank is ready to help. If you want a loan, set up a new account. Or do you want to set your financial goals to handle future needs? We have the people in place who are knowledgeable and ready to help. Come in today to 510 West Main in Henrietta or stop by our Okima location at 117 South Woody Guthrie Street. See how we can help you answer all of those questions. Do you have questions about your banking needs? The staff at American Exchange Bank is ready to help. If you want a loan, set up a new. Back on, Bruce. We're back on. Right. And just want to remind everyone, tomorrow is the um, drawing for $1,500 uh, in Santa Bucks and Christmas, Christmas parade. parade. So yep. if you uh, haven't participated and got your ticket or uh, your um, card yet, you need to get down to one of the Henrietta participating merchants and Get your card and get it filled out and be a part. Breedaw throws it in. We're going to do the drawing at 5.30. The, the you, Wiggins, you the, 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 the Wiggins almost had the ball stolen. Well, I'll tell you what, they are hustlers on the pony, Lady Ponies. I mean, they're going after that basketball. And Mick, there's a foul. Replacement comes in for yeah. um, Henrietta. Side. Bopman in there. Oh. <laughs> Shot, knocked the ball out, blocked it. And the Lady Knights have the ball back. Lady Ponies. Lady Ponies, Lady Kaiser. There it is. Big three for him. Kellyville. All right, Henrietta gets the ball out of bounds. Presses on. Bachman has the ball, passes it over to the Wiggins. Day Wiggins brings the ball back. Maybe this time she can get put in the basket. And she puts and it nice. in. The Wiggins was bound and determined to get that in the basket. So she gets her first two points of the game. Deservedly so. Yes, she did. Kat and Caitlin does a great job for the Lady Knights. Yep. Really good. Uh, Catcher, too, I understand, for softball. Oh, she does fantastic. Yep. We're going to miss her next year. She's one of the seniors that's going to graduate. There's a long shot, no good. Rebound fought for. Pony's got it. Back into the middle, long shot again, no good. There we and go. Botman's got the ball as a rebound. Over to DeWiggins. DeWiggins bringing the ball down. Just keep driving in there, Caitlin, like he did. Right through him, she went, she's shooting again. No good, but she gets her own rebound. How about that, folks? Shoots, falls the ball, and gets the re her own rebound. Harjoki's got the ball, passes over. And they're still fighting for the ball underneath there. And Lady Pony's come up with it. No, oh, Henrietta's fighting and for Henrietta it. Henrietta gets it on the other yeah, end. Yeah, Bachman's got the ball. Jump ball. No, oh, jump ball. Yeah. 
Ball out of bounds. Goes to the ponies. Try to keep everyone updated on playoff scores here when the you know, game time starts. Seven o'clock tonight. Beggs and Dewar are going to be um, the two teams we're really following. And do want to watch Shattuck. Oh. Lee's got the ball. Dribbling it around. And a foul on the Lady Ponies. Of course, the Dragons are playing all the way over at Enid, Andy. Yep. That's and number 35's first foul for her. That's not just right down the road either. That's right. You make that trip, you uh, better pack a lunch. Yep. Or get a motel room for the night. All right, Botman's going to throw the ball in. Passes it out. Brings it around, dribbling. Passes it again. Dover's got the ball, shoots. No good. Rebound fought for. Oh, and Lawless got that ball off from underneath that hoop and can't brought it back out to Harjoki. Underneath the Botman, Botman's going to shoot. No good. And it's going to be a foul on Botman, I do believe. That will be her first. Here goes another shot by the Ponies. Well, Bruce, I have my boy here from Pennsylvania. He shot a nice eight-point buck this morning, and my oh. daughter's listening to us from uh, West Virginia, so shout out to you guys, and thank you for listening, and thank you for son coming to visit old dad. Uh, but here comes the, the Ponies again. Yeah, but the thing is, with him out there, living out there, and the two goes in. Yeah, it goes in, number 35, put that in. With him living and out in Pennsylvania Carter. and you here. There's beautiful. There, great two points for yep. Henrietta. That two points was Gobin. So how um, how's he gonna get all that deer meat back to uh, Pennsylvania? Uh, well, what we normally do, Bruce, uh, we normally, if the, uh, Andy gets a deer, uh, we normally donate that to a church. Okay. And we let the uh, processing plant pick the church. So that's what we did. Okay. I've already got a deer for Father Peter, so, you know, he's got his fair share. <laughs> yeah. We kind of move it around. Well, I can just see him uh, trying to pack up a whole bunch of uh, dry ice and put it on no, a plane. No, <laughs> kind of hard to carry that down there. You know, Pennsylvania's got some pretty good deer there, too, but uh, he has been coming out here for the last 12 or 13 years, and every year he has got a buck. I mean, uh, the luck is there, I guess, or yep. the or the uh, uh, the guide service, one of the two. <laughs> Probably guide service. I don't you, know. You, you know, you kind of know where they're uh, hiding at. Yeah. All right, Kellyville bringing the ball out after there that we little go. timeout. They haven't really uh, they kept their major players in their all quarter in the yes, second they quarter. They have not substituted very much for the major players. No. And they're staying their press on there to get ahead. 419 to go in the second quarter. They want a good comfortable lead yeah. at the end of the half. 13 point difference. That's which is plenty of room for Henrietta to come back. Oh yeah, well the Lady Knights. There's there. almost a stolen ball by DeWiggins. Oh, Caitlin was, was right there. Yeah, Caitlin was right there. There's a stolen ball right there, or a jump ball. And Henrietta will get the ball out of bounds. Good good uh, hustle there by Greenhaw. Greenhaw throws the ball in. Over to back to long shot by Katie. And no good. Oh, right off the oh turn fought of the for rim. by Greenhaw. Henrietta knocked out of bounds. Be Henrietta's it will ball. Be Henrietta's ball. That's good. That's what we want. Good hustle by Hardwood, though. She was right there for the Lady Ponies. You betcha. Archoki's got the ball. Going to throw it in. Archoki back to Archoki. Ball underneath. 
Eric Lee's going to shoot. No good. In and out. And another jump ball, which will go to the Ponies. Three minutes, 44 seconds left to go in the first half. This has been a quick quarter here. Yes, it has. There's a the ball stolen. Great move by Watch behind you. Almost stolen again. Move. Real close. The Wiggins seen her coming. Lee throws underneath Arjoki. Arjoki throws. It was a block shot. Big block shot. Knocked, ball knocked out of bounds. So it's going to be the uh, Lady Ponies taking the ball back. Yeah, Arwood kind of. There's the ball. Oh, great Basketball. move by Caitlin. Yep. And 3.15 to go. And Randy gets the ball out of bounds again. Good rid of Starting to get their teamwork moving here. Caitlin moving the ball back to the corner. Green on. Driving over. Ah, man. Bad pass over to Gobin and yep. goes out of bounds. Yep. So the girls in maroon will be bringing the ball down. Yep. 8 to 21. Three minutes to go. There's a long three-point shot. No good. Rebound fought for, and it's right in there. McGuire puts it in. That's her first two points of this quarter. McGuire had four points last quarter. That young lady can tap that ball. Watch oh, this. Look at, look at that. A foul on her. And a timeout. Henrietta. 2.31 to go. You bet. The America's Guardians motorcycle group is holding a uh, toy drive. They've got a donation basket set up down at Shoney's. Okay. They'll be um, taking those down to um, uh, Shreveport, the Shriners, uh, tomorrow afternoon, I believe. So, you know, I don't know if you've been familiar with the Shriners or not, but they do a fantastic uh -huh. job. We have a lot of uh, our employees at our Muskogee store. They're all Shriners. Well, for one that's um, been involved with them on the receiving end, my granddaughter is walking normally now. She had one leg that was about two inches shorter than the other, and they worked with her. That little gal's well, about as normal as I'm ever going to let her think she is. Well, that's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, the Shriners do an excellent yeah, job. They do. And, they, you know, and, they, it, and it doesn't cost a cent for the uh, parents. That's, that's exactly right. That's so a, we've, and we've had some uh, great help uh, in, in our town. You bet. Uh, so if you got a chance to buy tickets to the Shriners Circus, get you about 10 of them. Yeah, because uh, the Stedman girl has been, was in the Shriners for a long, long time, and she's now back in school. That was a good drive, left-hand shot, no good. Oh, I just missed. A another and shot up, up and, oh, and it's good. good. And Lee put that in. So Henrietta gets in double digits. Yep. Thank you, Ms. Lee. Yep. Here's the ball worked around. Back to the corner, trying to get it in the middle, trying to block out. Yes, there's a push right on her face there. Yep. That's a walk on McGuire. 13 point Green, difference. Green off throwing the ball in. It's over to DeWiggins. DeWiggins right. is going to be played out because she has been the person to bring it across the line. There's a ball. Oh, foul right in the face. We're finally going to go to the foul line. Great. Fantastic. And Goldman at the line. That's the first foul on number 30 on Peterson. 
Gobin shoots her first one, and it's good. Cassidy's grandmother down in Alabama usually watches every game, but uh, Hi, she's, Grandma. No, she's out doing Christmas shopping. Oh, Christmas shopping today. That's all right. She can look on her tape and watch it later. Oh, she will. She will. And that'll be a foul on Miss Gobin. Yeah, if you got someone that's watching and you want to do a shout out to them, hell, send me a text. 918 650 8557. We can have fun with it, we can be serious with it. All right, free throw by the Lady Ponies. Okay. First shot up. And it's no good. Rebound fought for. And here comes Lady Knights. Our junkie's got the ball. Oh, almost stolen ball by number 23. Has a foul on number 23. Um, Pickering. That's Emma Pickering. She's been doing a pretty good job. Yes, yeah, she uh, has. On defense side for yep. the uh, Lady uh, Ponies. They just replaced her and brought the. Uh, Bite them back in. Underneath, there's a shot up, and it's good. Good shot by Henrietta Gobin. I believe that was Cassidy picking yep. up the two. So now we're down to a 10 point difference. The minute left in this first half. So it's going to be a little dicey. Well, I'll tell you what. They are, they, are, they are out to get that basketball in the hoop tonight. Lady, ah, uh -huh. what a good, oh. Man. Our junkie tried to get her, but she stepped out before she hit the ball on her, so. Henry the, the fans weren't ponies. happy with that call. Yeah, but, but she stepped out of bounds. They didn't see no, her put yeah. out there. Yeah, we can't pick on the refs. Well, we can, but not for that one. No. Oh, look at that one there. Good two by Man. the Lady Ponies. Ar Arwood again. That's her first two for this quarter, though. Boy, I'll tell you, look at the, look at the hustle, all them ponies. I mean, they're just barely missing. Oh, look ah, at that shot by two. Lee. Lee puts a two in. So we're back to a 10-point uh, variable here. Yep. Oh, almost a stolen ball by Harjoki. 9.6 seconds to go to the half, folks. Lady Knights coming back. There's another ball stolen. Looky there. Seven seconds. Wiggins going down, shoots. No good. Right off the front of the basket. And that'll that, end it. That 15 end. to 25 with the visitors being on top. All right, we're looking at uh, Halftime in the second half in this game with Henrietta and the Kellyville Lady Ponies. And we're listening to the Knights uh, Brigade over here. And they're playing some great stuff. They are putting the sound out. All right, folks, what a great job they did during the halftime presentation. Shouts out to Mr. Montgomery and the whole group over there, especially them drummers. They are beating pretty hard on their drums tonight. All right, here we go. Harjoki, DeWiggins, Lee, Gobin, and Greenhaw start it off. And Harjoki will be throwing the ball in to the Knights. Oh, almost stolen. Ball brought across the line, driving right to the hoop. Passes it off, shoots it, and it's good. Great job by Goldman getting right off the bat, getting two points. All right, here comes the, the ponies working the ball around. They're almost one-on-one uh, -on -one here now. Going to the other corner, trying to get it underneath, and driving. Oh, ball stolen by Pete Wiggins. 
There goes Cat down for, uh, down court. You bet. She's looking to set it up. Oh, look at that. Uh, uh, that young lady 13 is all over, over what the oh guarding yeah. her. And here we go, same way. Jump ball. And the ball is going to be going to the lady ponies. They are hustlers out there with their hands, folks. They never stop. No. Pass around again, trying to get it into the middle. Drives back outside. Almost stolen by, again, by Katie. Katie tried to get it that time also. Ball's up, and it's good. Toby uh, Toby uh, Tony McGuire makes that, too, for yeah, the. Yeah, McGuire uh, makes that. Starts off the quarter again. Had a crash over there. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. And it will be Henrietta's ball. The referee's talking to her, see if she's okay. She's hit pretty hard there in her neck. I think she popped her head back yeah, against she did. the floor. Here comes the coach down. And that floor just ain't forgiven. Yes, it is. And we got we are Bachman do coming a, in to replace her. Yeah, she hurt her neck. All right, Bachman's got the ball over to watch the inner side. There you go. Well, I'll tell you what. Katie does one heck of a job with that basketball. All right, here we go. Lee's got the ball, passing it over. Govan's got the ball, drives, and she's fouled. She'll go to the line. Thought she had that, but that foul just um, locked it just about right, but we'll take the extra um, yep. shots here. So Katie gets her two shots. First one's up. And it's no good. Oh, Cassidy, come on. Just a little bit more up, girl. Ten point difference again. And it's there a nine point difference. All right. You got it that time. All right, here comes the ladies driving all the way to hoop by herself. Throws it to the middle. Throws it up. No good. Rebound fought for. And wire comes out. Wire comes out with it. Trying to back underneath, back underneath, baskets up, and Pickering gets her first two for the third quarter. Archoki's bringing the ball down and throws it out of bounds, knocked out of bounds. It's a good game for the uh, Lady Cargill, Knights. Cargill uh, knocked that and out of bounds. They're staying competitive, even though this is a, a lot of um, defense that they're facing. Oh, yeah. Well, Chucky's got the ball. Oh, knocks it out of bounds. And Lady Ponies will get the basketball. 18 to 29. They're taking their time, bringing the ball down the court. 5.43 to go, third quarter. Pass over to the corner, into the middle, and she's fouled. And I believe it will be Harjoki, I think. Yeah, show it with what it is. Sending Beckering to the line. Yep. And the ball's up, no good. She'll get a next shot. Becker's next second shot up, and it's good. That puts the Lady Ponies um, 12 points. 12 points ahead of the uh, Our Lady Our takes the ball and a good block by Pickering. So Henry will get the ball out of bounds. Goma's got the ball, passed it underneath, stolen, right. stolen again. They're an aggressive bunch from uh, yes, they Kellyville. Are. No good. Air ball right there, McGuire's under it, gets it. No good. She comes up with a rebound again. Three-point shot now, no good. 
I'll tell you what, they just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. Rebound. Underneath, wide open. Throwing it back outside. Good. Ball stolen Bounce by pass. Bachman. Bachman's right there to get it. And yep. long pass over to Arjoki. Arjoki's got the ball now, bringing it across court. Trying to set up the play. Over to Bachman. Almost lost it. Watch it. She's, she's, this girl here with her hands can steal the ball off of you. That's Lee. Over to Bachman. Bachman shoots no good. And the Ponies bring it across the line again. Hardwood throws it over to the corner. Hardwood's going to make a th try throw a three. No good. And rebound is made up by, again, McGuire. Arjoki bringing the ball down, driving to the basket. And it is good. So Arjoki gets put on the board. First two tonight. Keeping that 12-point gap between them. Yep. Four minutes left to go in this third quarter. There's a three-point shot again, and it's good by McGuire. Seven points for McGuire in this period. Caitlin, hey, look at that. Basket. Caitlin. Cat gets her two. That's four points for her this game. There's the Ponies moving it up to the middle again. Nobody on them. Shoots, no good. Rebound fought for. Ponies got it. Another three-point shot from the outside. No good. Got our own ball back. Follow the ball, guys. No good. And Bachman's got the ball, and it'll be a foul. And we had to get the ball out of bounds. They got Late a substitution. Caitlin and uh, Bauman going back in to um, relax. Get a little bit of breather. We know there's some folks from KV Rising that are watching tonight. Um, they were going to be down here and couldn't, uh, something interfered with that. Robert, thank you for um, entrusting us to uh, do this. Yeah, we, we appreciate the Kellogg people wa watching us tonight. Look at that spin move, no good. And she'll go to line for two. And that's green, huh? All right, at the line, Greenhaw with the ball, Up shoots, and, and no oh. good. A little left-handed soft shot. Got Lawless back in the game. Greenhaw eyes the hoop, shoots, and this time it goes in. So 50% of them, but we'll take every one point we can get our hands on. There's a long shot again, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Govan. Barjoki's got the ball, throws it down. Long pass. You bet. Greenhaw almost to back to Govan. Down to Arjoki. Arjoki shoots, and it's good. Three. Arjoki's got a little hot there. Perhaps she was inside the two-point range. Yep. Darn it. Ten points difference. You know, we just keep around that ten point difference. We're hanging loose with them. Well, we wound up in the hole to begin with. Yep. There's a ball trying to be stolen. Fought again, and, and the ball still, still in it. Going a red ball and giving a foul on, on Greenhaw. Kaiser's got the ball, dribbling around. These girls are good ball handlers. 
Oh, you know. Ah, ball stolen, almost stolen. A minute 27. Adriana's going to get the ball out of bounds. Foul on the Pony, Lady Ponies. Bachman back in the ball game. Lee's got the ball, shoots, no good. Rebound by the Ponies, and a jump ball. Bachman's in right in there. Oh, called her foul. Yeah. Foul on Bachman. I thought she had that ball, both hands on it. But that's the call. McGuire throwing the ball out. Kaiser takes it. Yeah, brings it on down. He's Jump on around. Court. Back to McGuire. McGuire pass back to Kaiser. Kaiser throws away underneath. Wide open shot from his side. Almost in. Rebound fought for. And Harjoki gets the ball. Bachman's got the ball. She's going to drive to the hoop. Oh, it's walking. And the ball goes out of the ball to the ponies. That's twice tonight we've had that one call. Yep. Um, that's an easy one to get. Yep. Kaiser throws the ball in. Oh. And McGuire. Uh, what have we got, a timeout here? Well, I guess we do. Timeout, uh, Lady Ponies. Well, Lady Ponies has only taken three timeouts. Visitors has taken four times out, and then... Uh, the Knights has only taken three times out, so. All right. Here, Here we, go. we go. McGuire's got the ball again. Kaiser threw it into her. Them two bring it across the court all the time. There is a three-point shot wide open. No good. Again. And ball is by Bachman. Bachman just let her steal the ball right off of her. And the ball ought to be going down. Over there saying we knocked it out. Okay. Kaiser's going to throw the ball in. Throws it over. On the line. Henrietta's ball. 14.9 seconds to go in the third period. Only 10 point difference. Couple threes where you're right in the ball game. Uh, got Morrison back in the ball game. No good. Ball, ball fought for. Lawless got the ball. And that's the end of the third period. So end of the third, Henrietta 25. Kellyville Ponies 35. Rogers Funeral Home in Henrietta is here to help when you need it most. Over 20 years now, Rogers has been helping families during their most trying and emotional times. Let Sean Rogers help create a fitting and memorable service for your loved one. We're seeing more points on the board in a hurry. Yep. And they're and they are competing against one defensive team. I'll tell you what. Television ponies are hustlers. Yes, they are. And they're good ball handlers. They got real strong ball handlers. I'm impressed by them.
All right, All right. here we go. Gobin going to throw the ball in. That's fourth quarter. 89's only down, 10 points. A 10 point difference, it could be made up right here. Yep. Right. Nobody gained anything, nobody lost anything that last quarter. Both sides stay within, and a foul again on number 23 on Pickering. That's four on Pickering. Pickering comes out of the ball game. Our junkie's got the ball, drives in the middle. Shot, no, oh man. Gobin almost had that put in there. There's a 35, shoots it, and puts it in. That is Chrysler. Put the two in. Lee's got the ball. Ball out of bounds here, foul on 35. It's their second. Our Jokey be throwing the ball in for him. He had a. Our Jokey throwing the ball in. Oh. Uh -huh. Passing the ball around. Lee shoots. No good. Got to get the rebound, girls, too. Look at, look at that control. Look at that control. Beautiful. Ball gets away from Lady Knight, yep. and Lady Ponies take advantage of yep. it. 25-39. Man, this is a game. Yes, it is. McGuire's got the ball, passes it around. Back in the corner, the Kaiser underneath. Ball's up, no good. Oh, good save. Good save right there by Gobin. She was balancing on her toes. Yes, she was. Lee's got the ball, looking around. Over to Gobin, underneath the Tarchoki. Oh, misses a beautiful layout, just just barely missed it that time. Here's the ball thrown all the way across the court. The Wiggins is going to let it run out. And in Rena, six minutes to go in the last quarter. 25 39, 14 point difference. Got a substitution of Bachman coming in, Hard Yogi coming out. Wiggins throws the ball into Lee. Lee underneath the Gobin and a foul. She'll go to the line again. Reach Greenhaw at the line. 5.47 left to go in this um, final quarter. Yep. Henrietta's got to come up with some points. Well, they're trying their best out there. Oh, yeah. Here's a left handed shot again. Greenhaw. And it's good. Six points for Green Hall tonight so far. Good left hand shot again. And this time it bounces in and out. Back back shot back up. Never hit the rim. Has a drive to the basket, shoot, and it's good. And that was Hardwood again. We've been getting the shots, just as aren't getting to put in the baskets. There's a the ball in the lead. Bachman and uh, kicked out of bounds, and Henry will get the ball out. 
Green all throw the ball in. Green all throws to Bachman. Bachman dribbling the ball around, back around, in into Wiggins. Wiggins is trying to dribble the ball in. They keep blocking her out. Ah, we just throw the ball away. And it'll be a foul on number four on Greenhaw. Got seven team fouls, so I believe she'll go to line for one and one. All right, Andy, you're a deer hunter. I just got word from uh, Billy Boatwright that they could have a possible buck re uh, record buck for rifle season. What's that? The Billy Boatwright. Yeah. What did he get for? He wants to know what the. No, he got one. Oh, he got one. Well, that's fantastic. Two Congratulations. Points by the lady Congratulations. And 17 points. Would have been 18, but one got broke. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, we'll have pictures on that on the website. Oh, you bet. Lady Knights. There it is, up and, oh, beautiful drive by Greenall. Get it now. There's a pass down and just, oh, underneath shot, no good, fought for again. Oh, look at that hustle out there by the ponies. Grabbing the ball off the arms, knock, Rolls look at. right down the back. Right down their back, I'm telling you what, folks. And there you go. Man, what a shot, again, by Harwood. That's four points in this quarter for Harwood. Four, four minutes to go. You bet. Now we're 20 points difference. All right, we'll go ahead and talk about that buck now. Billy Boatwright uh, just texted me on it. It's going to be um, her stepdad's official, uh, the official score will be in 60 days. They're thinking it's going to be about 198. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, can't argue. Well, are, are they going to tell us in the what area they shot it? Uh, I think the body. The body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the location. There's a lot of good bucks running around out there, folks. And we like to try to keep them away from cars. Hey, you can't argue about it. It's a, um, it they changed some things this year. They let two year two. Uh, weeks of the buck season and they added uh, some extra days for hunting for does and, and increase the number of does you could kill to because the population is getting much much more so uh try not to control it you know funny thing is you and i are of an age that um we date back several decades and Many i can boots. remember when their deer were not deer hunting was not allowed in oklahoma there were no deer. What I've seen this year a lot is, uh, Bruce, is turkeys. I've seen a lot of turkeys where I've hunted this year. Well, deer So they're fortunate. coming back. They're, uh, com they're coming back, but they got damaged last year in that cold. Well, the other thing got damaged is they started trapping now bobcats. Yep. And bobcats have really been taking a toll on the turkey uh, population. And since they're paying for the uh, pelts on bobcats now, it's going to control and help the turkeys quite a bit. All right, All right, here goes the ball in. And uh, McGuire's got the ball, passes it over to Kaiser. McGuire's dribbling the ball back. Kaiser's got the ball, trying to get in the middle. Uh, Lee almost stole the ball, has almost stolen again. Here's a three-point shot again. Uh, no good, rebound, and Bachman's got the ball. Throws it down, wide open. Shoots, and she'll go to the line again. Greenhaw will go to the line again. She's down there hustling under that hoop, trying to put it up, but she was fouled. Lady and Pony's been doing a real good job of just steadily increasing that lead. Oh, yes. At one time, it was only 10 points. Now look at it. It's 20 points. Well, difference. 10 points uh, into the second quarter, 10 points at the end of the third quarter, and look at it now. Yep. 20 point difference. There's Greenhaw, and it misses it. Rolls right across it. Uh, she'll get another shot. Green on. 
Ball's up, and this time it is good. Three twenty-six to go in the fourth period. Ponies bringing the ball down. They haven't slowed down a bit. Look no. at that. That Kaiser just moves. We've been needing to make the both of those uh, free throw shots. Oh. There's two points. Bynum does it again. We may get one shot at a hoop. They get the rebounds, and they get two or three shots. Uh -huh. That was a block shot. The Good. Wiggins tried to get it put in, and it was blocked. And there's a three-point shot. Good. And that was Bynum. That's six points this quarter for a low. And bad pass winds up going to the uh, There's Bynum right there again, passes it off. Behind her back, do you see that pass? That was beautiful. Behind her back to McGuire. <laughs> Underneath the Botman. But at least this loss isn't as bad as the thunder the other night. I uh, didn't even see that happen. They set a new NBA record for losses. They were down to like 73 points. So wow. they got beat. Wow. Sounds like new coach on the horizon. It was 153 to 70, I think. Oh. Botman shoots, and it's good. good shot. We'll take that. He's going back to shot number two now. That's the first points for Popman's game. Uh, misses. Uh, Kaiser gets the rebound, and Botman fouls her. Ball out of bounds. Two minutes. Bottom throw seconds. the ball in. Botman goes out. Our jokey comes back in. Kaiser with the ball dribbling around. Hardwood. Over McGuire trying to set it up. And a foul on Lee. Got a whole new team coming in for uh, Lady Ponies. Well, with that big a lead difference, I don't blame them. I don't blame them either. Get everybody in the game. You bet. Get them a little bit more experience. Next Tuesday night, the uh, Henrietta Elementary will be uh, putting on their. There goes the break up and. And it's two. good. All right. Greenhaw puts another two in. And we're going to put a new uh, cast of uh, characters into our side of the teams. Yep. Everybody's going to get a little chance. We've got Billy in there. we got Morrison in there. Whole team. Uh, like I started to say, we're going to have the um, Henrietta Elementary's Christmas program next Tuesday night up here at the auditorium. So oh, there you go. Come on down. These kids put everything their uh, little hearts can do into those things. And they're always great watching. Morris has got the ball, bringing it down, passes it off. No oh, good. So close. 53 seconds to go. Here comes the lady. Ponies. There's a shot up, no good. Rebound up, no mm -hmm. good. Another rebound up, and it's good. Three shots made the difference. Number 24 put that in. 
That is Lou Arm. And no good. 18 seconds to go. And Henrietta gets the ball. Shoot the ball. Come on, Billy, take it. Billy's knocked down. That should have been a foul call. I'm sorry. Well. It's the end of the game. Four seconds left in Morris the game. is going to so take the ball out. Call him. Shoot the ball. Don't be afraid. Ah, we kick it off of Billy's foot. And that's the end of the ball game, folks. 54 to 30. 54 to 30. Kellyville comes out on top. Well, we'll be back with the uh, boys game just here in a little bit. <laughs> 